Kata, 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 kata. Some people they dance, some people they scatter the floor. Some people they rock and some people they go into war. So this life that we're living, sometimes it's a bond. Hi, I'm back again with my promised video on hair and hair growth and all that it has to do with getting back and restoring your hairline and damaged hair. Um, it is interesting that. Um, over 80% of people, both men and women, on the surface of the earth today have one issue or the other to deal with. We're taking a break from skin today and focusing on everything that has to do with hair growth and restoration of hairline. Too many things we do on a day-to-day -day basis can affect you know, a lot of things that um, would normally go right. For example, we know that we all do not have um, luxury of beautiful hair or full hairlines or thick hair or problemless hair. But every day, the things we do, I mean, I mean our lifestyles and a variety of other things affect our hair growth, either stunting it or stopping it totally from growing or breaking it or making it recede in the hairline. For example, I am a living example of receiving hairline before now I used to have like um, each time I could friction my hair or cut my hair after every three four days I had them friction it in front and I finally realized that my hairline was receding and it was going back and back and back and I mean I had to take a lot of things. I asked a lot of people, I consulted and a lot of things and many a times you get solutions for different things. People will tell you use iron-based pills, zinc-based pills, folic acid, vitamin D, vitamin D. You get a lot of creams on the market. There's an amazing range of creams on the market by the way. Ointments, creams, rub-ons, leave-ins, treatments and all that. But at the end of the day, because we are impatient either or that the product is not meant for a particular kind of problem or the fact that we need to be a little more aggressive on the usage of these things, we kind of lose hope and the situation just continues. And for some other people, for example the women, um, a thousand things are responsible for hair breakage or hair loss. For example, um, the natural process of getting pregnant, carrying a pregnancy can alter your body hormones and body makeup. Some people get mad hair breakage during pregnancy or during um, baby nursing. I mean the whole drama of pregnancy and all that causes people's hair to break. For some ladies, they've had that experience. They even darken. But like I said today, we're not talking about skin. We're talking about hair. The hair breaks and they find it very difficult to restore their hair back to um, the way it used to be before or something. Another thing is some people are used to um, planting lots of weaves, so chunky heavy leaves on their hair and the front line is usually finished with um, what do you call it? Adhesive. Blue. People put blue directly and God save you. You're working with a quack hairstylist, you're gonna be in deep shit. You're gonna plant all that adhesive on your skull and when you're taking it out, you're taking out everything that you came to the earth with. So, I mean, you get to lose the front of your hair and we start from square one. We're trying to look for hair when there's hair behind and the front is finished. I know how you feel. Some of you are going through this and it's difficult because it's, it's, it can be embarrassing. It's painful. But the truth is, there is help. If you would only be patient and look for the right things. But of course we know how depressing it is in the beginning when you feel like, oh my god, you lost your self-confidence, you cannot show up in public with your normal hair like you normally do on a Saturday, throw your hair open and just walk around at the su supermarket or shopping mall doing your regular weekend runs and all that. You'd have to plant a weave and probably go on a bound or fringe to cover all the mess in front. But the truth is, we all go through this hustle one way or the other with hair loss. The men have this as well when they're aging, the women have it. For me, um, it was a very bad case because I, I lost my self-esteem at a point. I would always want to take a picture and not show my hair like, or like just take a selfie for, and crop it of course, yes. <laughs> crop out the head. I'm sure you people have seen my days of cropping my head on Facebook. You, you, you understand? It was the hustle. 
it's, it's really worth the cost of the body. I'm glad I can actually show my hands. I mean, it's not the best, but I've come a long way. You need to appreciate my struggle as well. So um, I'm going to be sharing with you one thing out of two. Um, the second thing is for another day. But today I'll be talking about something I found online five months ago and I decided to try it and today the exciting part is I'm not on, the show, I'm not on this show alone like I'm going to be talking to uh, a celebrity stylist a celebrity hairstylist that handles most of the big names you know in Uganda I'm proud to have her here and someone who is beautiful who is amazing and you actually not believe she's had a problem with her hair anytime in her life she is absolutely gorgeous and has an amazing hair on she has also used the same thing we're going to be talking about today. And it is Heffinity. So, Heffinity capsules are hair capsules. I basically like to call them hair capsules because um, they are capsules that have vitamin A, vitamin C, D, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, folic acid, B12, biotin, of course, 200, uh, 2500 mg, and um, pantetic acid, and calcium as well. Basically, the makeup of these shows that we have 8150 IUs of vitamin A, and the next biggest uh, constituent of this is biotin as well. I don't know if you know that there are biotin pills off the shelves everywhere in the US, everywhere in the world. There is biotin pills of different kinds. But for me, um, I like to say that there is there is the cream and there is the cream dollar cream. Mm. Yes. So out of everything, there is a super super thing and a regular thing. Heffinity has a wide outreach. It has trusted brand ambassadors who. People think I paid to say all they say about their hair, but truth be told, um, most of them are light skinned or African Americans and all that. But in Africa, of course, this is working. There's lots of black people using this, and um, it has really worked for them. I didn't use this for long, I used it for a short while because I was using other topical solutions for um, skincare and um, hair growth. It was a two-in-one thing, but then this really did help me in my journey to regaining my front hairline. I also had to stop frictioning my hair because for men, the more you friction your hair, the more the, the, the hair understands that it's not supposed to grow beyond a particular point and it just keeps receding. And each time you go to the barber, he keeps taking it backwards. So learn to not friction your hair too much. Even if you want to friction it, you can just use a nice definition and it will come back in fullness. But then, Heffinity Peels, back to it. It is an amazing peel made in the US, Los Angeles to be precise. And it has a black CEO and a very amazing personality. She has developed her brand and she has done this with the hair in mind. So basically, um, I'm going to be talking to some people who are experts in hair and uh, or someone who's an expert in hair care and has consistently um, recommended this for her clients and we see how much of um, results or feedback she's gotten from this. I mean, all these are black people and like African, African people. And um, we're, we're going to be sharing experiences because I'm going to talk about how I felt when I used this um, the first Two three months, two, two months again, and um, I'll talk to Sophie as well to see what her review of this was like. But I feel like this is an amazing thing if you're going to cope with um, hair loss, and like I said, you need to be patient. You need to do other treatments alongside because this works from the inside out. And so once I get back, I'll be talking to my celebrity hair stylist, and I'll be getting done with how she's been able to cope with her affinity with her clients and what she thinks about her affinity generally. And we are also talking to women and 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 Ah, Julie, good to have you on my channel today. I am so excited and really, really humbled that you accepted to come on the show today. That's <laughs> me. Good, good, good. So I know, when, when, when anybody in the 256, and I'm not to say the 256, in Uganda, talks about hair, from leaves, to hairstyling, to weddings, to celebrity, it's truly, 
lying back. Or, because I don't mind this with other things. Do you think this alone can be You cannot walk on its own. Oh, yeah. No. Reality own. strikes. Yes. Mm. You cannot walk on your own. So what you need to do, you also need to be realistic. Mm. You cannot continue doing things as usual. Okay. okay. You understand? Like then, for example, like most girls who leave their heads, they don't believe in using, they believe in more. Someone will put like even five parts of this. Mm. Mm. So, yes. so you find like their hairline tends to really, really be really something. <sighs> So what I always say, don't do we after we after we after we. Yes, we understand we all have to be good and stuff, but we also have to be to take care of your hair. Take care of your hair. Sometimes I need to leave the hair in a, in a natural state to follow. Okay, so what do we, what do you suggest that ladies combine with these? I mean, there's some hair oils on the market. Like there's some people say castor oil, um, what olive oil and stuff. And then recently there's this herbal root stimulator that um, has been popular with us at the salon and spa. And basically a lot of people are thinking you need to wear your hair. It's got um, a lot of things. But then I'm thinking some girls need to leave their hair to follow. I mean, us men as well need to take a break from friction in our hair, right? And all that shit. Well, um, yeah, the thing about men, eh? I don't know, there's this, I don't know how they cut their hair. So, you get someone get, getting this, uh, the, what, the razor bumps. Yeah. So, you keep, they keep cutting and cutting. So, the, re the razor bumps becomes... <laughs> what I always say, to, to treat the razor bumps, don't cut your hair too close. Because sometimes when you cut it too close, then you get the ingrown hairs. They fall, they coil under the skin. So they do this over time. It becomes swollen. It becomes swollen and then it becomes in place. It becomes set. It becomes a mess. So I always say, leave a bit of hair until your hair grows, until your skin grows. Okay, so same for the frictioning as well. We do not do this. We just let it be. And like we just give a nice definition when you touch your hair. Yes. Regularly, okay. So the ladies can combine this with some other things, like yes, there's lots of things that they can they can combine. With. Okay, and it's like like I've, I've tried you the the the, the hair to the hair the hair boosters. Okay. Hair boosters. What is in that hair booster? In the hair boosters, whatever is in it, really really works. There's only an oil. There's the um, the castor oil. 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 Marijuana is good for you. Yes, marijuana works. <laughs> marijuana does work for the hair. Yes, it does work and like most of the hair products on the market that will do stimulate hair growth. Uh -huh. hair, hair growth, I mean, has um, what you call it, some marijuana or yes. like some... But don't say marijuana, you're arrested. Say Indian hair. Indian hair. Oh, sorry. Indian, Indian hair <laughs> is, is recommended for hair growth, but already done in like the hair products. I'm not telling you to chew. Do that hair, but look for it. I don't even know where to start. Uh, disclaimer on that one. I'm totally disclaiming. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But then, Julie, I'm, I'm really excited that I had you here and you attest to the fact that Definity does work. Uh, yes. Because when I, when I found this online um, some months ago, I was one of those who said to myself that it probably doesn't work or it's one of those fuzzy things again. But trust me, do you know why I actually feel that like this company initially um, was. Was initially thought that they were the craziest. Um, they had chats. You know, on the Happiness website, there is yeah, chats with, with, the, with the line for with hair. With the line for hair. So, so it can monitor, yeah, how, can monitor how, how, how your hair grows. Yeah. So the only thing I know that people complain about this is for people who are trying to have the curly natural hair. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which, in my opinion, is very overrated. The hashtag Afro kinky, African hair kind of natural hair thing. So, no this, what this does, it makes your hair very, very well conditioned. So, it kind of feels like you've loosened the curls of it, but it doesn't quite straighten your hair. It uh, doesn't. Okay. It just makes it a bit softer. And I also noticed that when I when I was using this, I normally cut my hair more often than normal. Yes. And forgive me, hair grew on the other parts of the body as well. But <laughs> it, it grew really much more than I thought. Well, then I'm kind of Amen. Amen. <laughs> so basically, it took up um, it could give me all the hair growth that I needed, and I'm glad that Julie is here and she's really um, I don't know she's everything about hair. And if she says that um, it does work, trust me, it does work. You might need to try it. If you do not try it, you can never know. You'll never know. You'll never know. You'll never know if you do not try. So basically, I always tell people try something. There is no loss in trying. And trust me, it is. Just before. 
Okay. If you need your hair to grow. Talk about the men too, though. Okay. Hey, these ladies have a problem. Okay. Yeah. They wash their hair once in a while. Okay. You don't expect this to work. Oh my god. They wash every day? No, at least once a week. Oh. Wash your hair once a week. Wash your hair. Alright? She's a condition it well. Okay. Alright? Oh, the washing part get a good shampoo. Okay, there's All a right. thousand in the market. We don't know what shampoo. How what's the measure for good for hair? Most of the time I would say good for conditioning shampoo. Means those ones that have fruit based stuff stuff. Okay. Yes. Okay. Like um there's one that I actually always tell people like I love. It's called the energy brand. Yes, energy. Energy shampoo. Yes. Like the, the, the Arab Arab the things. Yes, 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 it's yes. really, really nice. I mean you you will not go wrong with that. Men can also use it Men can also wash your hair. I bet. Men wash their hair. Wash their hair. hair. <laughs> when you're showering, you put your hair and then scrub. Let those oils of the previous day go away so that you don't stop the hair from growing. I bet. Let the hair grow. Because when your hair is shifting, you look rich, yes, you look like an old rich African man, but let me tell you the girls will have a tussle. You tell us this man that does not have hair, what a way to describe us after paying money. Eh? My brothers, take care of your hair. I beg. I'm going to get on this one right now. Because the ladies will always cover it with me. When we don't have wig. Hustle properly, brothers. <laughs> I beg, let the hair grow. Mm -hmm. Truly. Yeah. So back to the basics now. Um, you have recommended this, yes, I and I have recommended this as well. So I am going to make sure that I talk to everybody and let um, Sophie. She's, she's coming on in a minute, and she's going to tell us how this is working, what her experience is like. If she will have it, how many days it took to come over there, what Okay, Sophie, good to have you on my show. High five. You, you are so 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 gorgeous. Beautiful black woman. I totally adore everything. The makeup is in the bunch of eyes. You know, you go get a husband on this thing. Hmm. My dear. <laughs> you be good. Okay, but well then, darling, I appreciate the fact that you honored my call to come on this channel today and talk to ladies about your whole hairline thing. Um, you 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 definitely have had bad hair days before now. Yes. Like, okay. I thought I was alone with a couple of ladies no. on this whole bad hair day thing. And um, I know you have used hair right? Yes, I've used hair I want you to be sure it's the same thing I'm holding that you used. It is. It is, right? Okay, yes. confirmation done. I'm just thinking that probably there's a lot of other things somewhere that, that is better than this one. Because um, I, I, it worked for me. And I was, I was actually sharing with the viewers that it worked for me. And um, uh, I, I, I only broke out in the initial four days. I got like because I react to biotin and like my skin broke out. But then I want to hear from you how this whole thing went down because you told me before now that there was there was a time you had a weave in and what but you took out your is it a braid or weave? It broke your front. Oh okay, okay. It broke your front hair? Yes. Please tell us about it. Okay. Uh, I had a problem. Okay. I played with my hair and the front hair broke off. Okay. So I have my hair set. Okay. <laughs> she recommended me for hair affinity. Okay. And she told me you have to take these pills. And I'm like, pills? These pills will definitely break my hair. I know the feeling. I think they maybe will cause reaction. Or cancer. Or cancer. No, no, no. So I'm like, so I'm like okay. I first hesitated. But she's like, give it a try. Already your hair is broken. You have nothing to do. So I started swallowing this pill. Okay. After the first week, I got some reactions and oh, pimples on my oh, face. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but after a week, the second week, the pimples had cleared. Okay. And now my hair is starting to go back, as you can see. Amazing. I would not know yes, that you had hair. Back. But before, the whole of this French hair was, was off. Yes. So this really has worked for me. Ladies, you should really try. How long have you been at this though? One month she said? Yes, one month. One month? Yes. 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 It is tremendous. It works really well. That is amazing. I'm really impressed because I mean I like to hear um, real facts from people who have used stuff, and I'm really impressed that this has worked for you. And I mean, did you use this with any other thing, or because she was saying there was a there, there needs to be a combination? Like, yes. Swallow you. Do you apply yes, it? I would swallow, and in the morning I would wash my hair and apply some oil, some Indian hair oil okay. that has some oil. 
Okay. Yes. Oh, great, great. Which means in the while you were using your affinity, your hair was not on the braid or um, weaves. No, it wasn't. So you just left your hair? I, I let it breathe. Okay. I let my hair out. Okay. So I think that it's something to note as well, honey. If you are trying to get your hair back, you should give it a breathing space. You need some when you lost all your hair, yes. right? They feel very uncomfortable. By so a week. They keep panic, they keep bleeding, oh. they weave more and more and more. They never quite like deal with the problem. We know that the problem is really embarrassing if you lose self confidence with this. But then the wig sellers have to make money as well. So buy a wig. <laughs> buy a wig and close the hair. In the evening, take it off and enjoy yourself. My dear, we all have hustles. Many people wear four, four layers of makeup every day. To look good. When they reach home, they remove it. So why won't you wear? We have the hair to braid. Like a bit. I love the hair to braid because everybody that I've talked to about this. I mean, I'll also post some reviews from online. People are allowing their hair to braid because you can actually not know how good your hair is doing if you're covering it with another weave, which was the initial cause of the problem it's for most of them in the first place. So you cannot use problem to solve problem. Let the hair breathe, like you heard her, she said she let the hair what? breathe, you, 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 she would wash it, the hair will receive all the attention it needs when you let it be. I mean, so ladies, I mean, you've heard from Sophie, Sophie, I am really, really grateful that you spent us time to have you here, I, I love your hairline and well done with winning your hustle, I mean, I love people who win their hustles, we all have hustles, you're either dealing with bad nails like myself, because I've had my nails, but you have to love me that way. I mean, we have different things we also with. I take um, many things for different things, but winning my hustles and coming your hustle too, if you decide to take it serious today. People are winning their hustles as well with affinity. And I am really, really grateful, Julie and Sophie, for having you on today and you honoring my invite to come here. I am sure you've, you've heard um, Sophie's side of the story with her affinity. Um, hair restoration um, capsule and Julie's recommendations. You need to leave your hair open, you need to use your pills, you need to use good shampoos. For the men, you need to stop frictioning your hair a lot, you need to eat right. I think a healthy dose of onions as well yes. also helps you because I mean, I, I oh, really, really, really it helps. does help and it helps other things as well. Yes. Ignore the bad breath story. Mm -mm. It helps other things as well. So, uh, we, we really do love you and we thank you for staying with us on the show today and we hope you have learned a few things about get, getting your hair to grow back when you've lost your hair, you have breaking hair, or you're just fresh out of pregnancy. Oh, by the way, fresh out of pregnancy, you, you need to, uh, the advice of a health practitioner before using this product if you're pregnant or nothing. Yes, like every other product, including glutathione and the other things we talked about on the show, I think pregnant women and nursing mothers need extra care. You need to ask your ask physician, you. yes, yes, if you can use this. So don't don't rush. Just finish making the baby grow because you've done a great thing. You've produced a baby. It's not easy. Well done. But wait before you use this one. Yeah. Thank you very much. So um, it was great having you on my on my show, girls. You're, you're the best, best, best. How about a hug? <laughs> Um, thank you. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, it was great having you on the show. Thank you for uh, tuning in the channel today, and uh, we love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye. Come, let's go.